Happy Halloween and welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we are going to be doing the final video of month two of six months of set theory and higher order logic, looking at the spooky magic of transitivity. Ooh. Now, in the first month, we learned about transitive classes, where all elements are also subclasses. However, we only scratched the surface of the magical things that transitive sets can do. In this series, we will show you five magical theorems about transitive sets. We will not prove them yet. We may prove them in a future video. It's going to be a lot. We've had enough proofs with that monster Cartesian set proof earlier. But... We may prove them in a future video, but until then, feel free to try proving them on your own. With that, for my first trick, for all classes, the claim that a particular class is transitive is equivalent to claiming that the union of that class is the subclass of the original class. The reasoning for this one should be clear. The union of the class is simply the class of all the members of the members. If that is a subclass of the original set, then all the members are subclasses of the original set. In other words, the set is transitive. Ooh, ah. For my next trick, if a class is transitive, so is the union of that class. For all A, if A is transitive, that implies that the union of A is transitive. As we just showed, if A is transitive, the union of A is a subclass of A. This means that the union of the union of A is a subclass of the union of A, and therefore, by trick one, is going to be transitive. For number three, for the third trick, if every element of a class is transitive, so is the union of that class. For all A and all B, B is a member of A implies that it's transitive that B implies that it's transitive. The union of A is transitive. This makes sense when we think of union as removing a set of brackets from inside a class. If all the members of A are transitive, then removing a set of brackets from inside of A will result in a transitive class because all the members were transitive. And so when we take those brackets out, we're left with something that had only things that were transitive to begin with. So it must itself be transitive. For my fourth trick, the claim that the set is transitive is equivalent to the claim that a set is the subclass of its own power class. Ooh. If a set X is the subset of the set of all subsets of X, then all elements of X are must be subsets of X, since it's a subset of its own subsets. Conversely, so it's a material equivalent, so it goes both directions, if all members of X are also subsets of X, they are all members of the set of all subsets of X, i.e. the power set of X. Ooh, ah. And finally, for my final trick, if a set is transitive, so is its power set. For my last trick, if a set X is transitive, then it is a subclass of its own power set. The power set of X is a subclass of the power set of the power set of X. So once again, using trick four, the power set of X must be transitive. These tricks are cool because they build on each other. So if you want to try to prove them on your own, I would encourage you to build them up from the first one and work your way down to this one. And hopefully use my notes to give you a sense of how you can prove it. But they're all theorems of our basic universe and we can prove them all with the rules of the basic universe. And so we will use these in proofs in the future. Hopefully not before we prove them extensively ourselves, but perhaps depending on how tired of doing these very long proofs I get. We will call these five theorems of transitivity trans one through five in proofs. Trans one for all A, if A, a being transitive is materially equivalent to the union of A as a subclass of A. For all A, A being transitive implies that the union of A is transitive. For all A and all, for all A, 
for all B, if B is a member of A, it implies that B is transitive, implies that the union of A is transitive. For all X, if X is transitive, that's materially equivalent to X is a subclass of the power set of itself. And for all X, if X is transitive, then the power set of X is transitive. Up next, I may do a proof of these in a future bonus video, but for now, try to enjoy, try them on your own. Enjoy a happy and safe Halloween. This is the eighth Halloween that we've done this, which means we've been around for eight years, which is wild that this channel has been going for that long. And stay tuned for the third month of set theory coming at some point in the future on Piano Arithmetic. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org and stay skeptical, everybody.